welcome to our Creativity Club. I'm Meredith, the brand ambassador for Faber-Castell USA Creativity for Kids. Just a few notes about our class today. I can't hear or see you, but there's plenty of ways you can interact with me um, throughout the class. Also, this will be recorded, so if you have any questions, you can always go back to the recording and check it out. Um, so, ways you can interact. There's a chat box that you can type in any little questions or comments. There's a smiley face at the bottom of the screen, so you can send me little emojis. Um, there will be times that I'm going to ask you for your opinion, so a vote here box will pop up on your screen, and all you have to do is vote before the box goes away. And again, we love to see what you do. So if you have an adult or older friend, take a picture of your creation. Go ahead and just tag it on our social media um, page, hashtag creativity for kids. So let's go ahead and get started with today's crafting, our big gem diamond painting um, holiday edition. So let's see what's in the box. And I just want to show you something in the box. You get a pre-made little Big Gem Diamond Painting sticker. So, once you empty everything out of your box, ooh, that just slid right across, you can reach in, and you see how it's kind of like stuck here? You can ju just reach in and peel it off and use that for whatever you'd like to use it for. And here's our instructions. Okay. So I'm going to just leave the box up here um, just in case we have to look back at it. Okay, so what do we have in our box? We have all of these awesome rhinestones. We've got blue, orange, pink, red. Ooh, this one is my absolute favorite, which is the pearly iridescent white ones. And we have our bright green and our bright yellow. So all of these are what we will be painting with today. Let's put our little sample up here. Hello, snowman. Okay, and we also have our tool. This is our Big Gem Diamond Painting Tool. And I'll show you how this is used in a, a second or two. We have, also in that bag, these are little stands that are used to stand up your sun catchers that you're given. So if you don't want to hang them in the window, you just put the little stand in like that. And let's see here. There we go. It stands up. Let's see if I can put it back here. Hello, little penguin friend. Boop, boop, boop. So, boop. You can see it stands just like that. And if you do want to hang it in your window, you're given little suction cups that have a hook on them. So the hook goes right in the top of your um, sun catcher and see here if you can see it and it hangs so we'll put those aside for now you're also given a little pink square of wax and this goes along with your big gem diamond painting tool so we'll take that out, we'll need that. Our little plastic tray that we're gonna keep all of our rhinestones in. And of course, what we need to paint on are stickers, ooh. So you get six here, and then you get another six right here. And you get your sun catchers. So here we have our skating bear and our friendly penguin friend. Hello. All right. 
So, my first question to you, and as I mentioned before, a little vote here box is going to pop up on your screen so you can let me know what you think. Which sticker should we decorate first? Okay, I'll, ha bleh, I'll hold up this sticker sheet first, and you can choose, let's either do the penguin, the snowflake, or the Christmas tree. All right, you'll have a couple seconds to choose either the penguin, the snowflake, or the Christmas tree. All right, while everyone is voting, you will need a pair of scissors. So if you don't have a pair of scissors with you, just go ahead and grab those two. And that's if you have this kit at home and are following along, you'll need them to cut out the sticker that you want to work on. So although we're working on a sticker in this class, if you don't wanna do the one that we choose, you can choose whatever one you want and you can do that. All right, the votes are in. It looks like we're gonna be doing the Christmas tree. All right, starting out very festive for Christmas. So what you're gonna wanna do is cut out the sticker that you're starting with. And I'll show you. There are little dotted lines printed on the sheet. So just follow the dotted lines so you can cut out your sticker. Okay, and we'll put the rest of them to the side. All right, now it's up to you. You can follow the colors on your sticker and decorate using the colors that you see, or you can do whatever you want. I'm gonna follow the colors that we see on the tree. So I'm gonna put yellow, red, blue, orange, pink, and green in our little tree. So yellow is our star. And these are resealable bags. So you can just put a couple of the rhinestones in and then seal up your bag again so you can keep them um, um, keep them from running loose so there's our yellow there's our orange so this one actually has a lot of different colors so i might as well just put all of our colors in here like that And our green, this one has a lot of green in it because it's a tree. And one thing that um, we don't mention in the instructions is how fun it is to do this um, listening to your favorite holiday music. So I would recommend putting on some festive music while you craft because that's that always puts people in a really good mood. Music just does that for people. And if you don't like holiday music, maybe you just want to choose your favorite station and listen to that. Here's our blue. have one more which is the red and these are rhinestones that do not have any stickiness on the back they're uh, rhinestones that have a flat back because sometimes there are rhinestones out there that have stickiness on the back but these are not those Now, ooh, that's a lot of red. All right, we'll have to do a sticker with a lot of red in it next. Okay, so 
here we go. How do we use our tool? Our tool has this cool little like indentation at the top. I, let's see if you can see it right up here. It's kind of indented. And what that acts as is like a little scoop. So this wax, this pink wax, it has a little covering on it. So you want to remove the little protective covering and put it to the side somewhere you're not going to lose it. So I'm going to give it to my penguin to hold. Here you go, penguin. If you don't mind holding that. Now what you're going to do is push the tip of your tool down into the little square of wax. And when you do that, push all the way through so it picks up the, um, the wax in the tip of it. And what you're trying to do is get wax that's just a little bit hanging out at the top. Um, so you might have to do it two or three times. And I'll show you up here. There you go. You can kind of see the pink wax coming out the top. So just kind of push it in there so it doesn't come out. And this tool, why we're doing that is to make it easier for you to pick up your rhinestones. So I'll show you. Ta-da! It just magically picks up a rhinestone without you having to try and pick it up with your fingers. Let's see if I can show you that in this camera. Hello. There you go. All right. So where we're going to put that rhinestone, though, is on our sticker. So we have to remove the protective sheet of our sticker. And why there's a protective sheet on the sticker is because all of the little dots where you're going to put the rhinestones are sticky. So let's go ahead and pick up our green rhinestone again. Pick it up just like that. And then just place it where you want your green rhinestone. And you can, like I said, follow the colors that are on your sticker. Or you can choose whatever colors you want to color in your sticker with the rhinestones. And why I love this kit is because it's so quick and easy. Once you get the hang of it, this is, and I mean, it's not difficult. It's like, as soon as you start doing it, you kind of get into a pattern. And I'm just going to call out, it's easy if you set up your little tray of rhinestones on your more dominant hand. So... I'm holding the tool in my right hand because I'm right-handed. So I have all of my rhinestones right here um, at my right hand. And instead of having to reach all the way over and put it down, it's much more convenient to just have them all right here. So I've done all the green ones. We'll move on to the blue ones. And that's the base of the tree. And there's a couple blue ornaments on our tree. And there's a red ornament. Put you right up there. There's an orange ornament or two. There we go. Some yellow ornaments. A pink ornament. Oh, I missed a red one down here. And then our yellow star at the top of the tree. All right, we're done. That's how easy and quick creating one of these Big Gem Diamond Painting stickers is. And look at how shiny it is. It's so pretty. All right, so now it's up to you. You can use this sticker on your notebooks or maybe you're making a greeting card or holiday card 
or maybe you wrap the gift and you want to jazz it up a little bit with some sparkle so you can add it to your gift it's all up to you all right let's see let's do another one let's see which one our friends out there would like to do from this sheet of stickers we're gonna vote for either the happy little reindeer the cute little puppy or the gingerbread little person gingerbread kid puppy or reindeer all right go ahead and vote i'll give you a couple seconds to vote gingerbread kid puppy or reindeer and the votes are in we're gonna do the puppy all right so we'll cut out our puppy and again if you're choosing to do a different one awesome i can't wait to see what you do um just ask an older friend or your parent or adult to take a picture of it so we can see it up on our um, Instagram or Creativity for Kids Facebook page. Okay, just like we did with our tree, we're taking off the protective covering with our puppy here. And let's check the tip of our tool. Do we need to add a little bit more wax? I think so. So we'll just push the tip down into the wax just like that and kind of shape it a little bit and let's do something a little different this time instead of following all of the yellow dots to make our puppy yellow I'm going to make our puppy white so I'm choosing the really pretty see if I can hold that up so you can see it uh, iridescent white rhinestones so I'm going to show you something it's a little trick um, if your rhinestones are facing upside down you can just use the back of your tool and kind of just flick them around until they're facing upward and you want to pick up the rhinestone as it's facing upward. I don't think I mentioned that before. And there's a couple ways that people, I've seen people do this. Sometimes they just tap the whole tray, but that makes all of your colors go over, all over the place. So I like to try and just use the tip or the, the back tip of the tool and um, shoosh them around until they're top facing. Here we go. Super fun. So after we do this one, I think I'll show you guys how to do um, one of our um, sun catchers. Because that's a little bit of a different process. All right, so our puppy face is all filled in. I think I'll do our puppy body with the yellow. So, oop, that's orange. His ears aren't orange though. Nope, I guess that was yellow. If you have to remove a rhinestone, just try and use your um, fingernail and you can remove it and put it where it's supposed to go. There we go, just like that, super cute and fun. Good. A puppy potty. And if you didn't know this, I just wanted to mention we do have a lot of different themes of Big Gem Diamond painting.
So if you really enjoyed this holiday version of our Big Gem Diamond painting, you might want to check out um, some of our other ones like Sweets. We have woodland characters. We have like under the sea, like mermaids and stuff. And so we have a lot of different ones that you can check out. And I just love this holiday one because it can be used for so many different things. Like I mentioned, adding to wrapping paper or adding to Christmas cards or holiday cards. Here's our red. And it's time to decorate all the little lights. So you've got red lights, pink, blue, oh, and you have to flip over a green. And we're all set. We're all done with our cute little puppy. Hello. I'm all set. All right. Well, I would love to show you um, something else you can do with these. You can take your scissors and instead of peeling your sticker off the plastic, you could leave it on the plastic and you can actually just cut around the plastic like an outline of your sticker. Just like this. And then leave an area, like leave a corner. Just round it out a little bit so it's not sharp. And then continue cutting around it and we wanna get rid of those little dotted lines. And there we go. And now this is a hole punch. So we're just gonna punch a little hole up in that plastic area. Let's see. So now we have a hole in the plastic. Let's see if it comes out. Sometimes my hole punch gets a little stuck. There we go. Put my rhinestone back on there. So now we have a little hole in the plastic. I think you can see it. And you can take some ribbon or some yarn and put it through the hole. And this is long, this is really long. So you can wear it as a necklace. Like that, so it'll hang off of you as a little necklace. Or if you made it a little bit shorter, you could hang it off of your tree. Like a little Christmas ornament. Isn't that sweet? Aww. Okay, love it. All right, so I don't think we mentioned that in the instructions, but I think that would be really fun to do. Okay, so I'm going to show you one of our um, sun catchers. So on your instructions, on the back of your instructions, you're given a gem placement guide. And let's just bring over our little skating bear. Our little skating bear fits just perfectly on top of the gem placement guide. So this, um, this sun catcher is different than the stickers because the whole area of the bear is sticky except for the black lines. So you can put gems wherever you want within all of the um, shapes of the bear skating. So all you have to do is remove the protective sheet and we're gonna save it because if you don't wanna finish your bear in one at one time, you can always just put your protective sheet back over it and then keep crafting at another time. 
All right, we're gonna grab some more of the wax, just like that. And roll it a little to make a nice little round tip. And then <laughs> you can look at the box to see how you'd like to color it, or you can just go ahead and color it however you'd like, just like the stickers. So I'm going to start by following the dots that are on the guide and just start placing my favorite, the iridescent white um, rhinestones on. So it's really easy to do. And even though there aren't little dots of adhesive, the whole thing is adhesive, the gem placement guide is really helpful in order to um, put your rhinestones where you want them. And you can either hold it like how I'm holding it with your fingers, or you can tape it down. You can tape the sun catcher down on the paper um, in order for it to not move, to keep it in place. So I'm not going to do the full sun catcher. I'm going to show you what it looks like after it has been all done. But this is how you use the gem placement guide to create your sun catchers. This is really addictive though, it's hard to stop. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to put the little protective sheet back over our bear. I have to kind of line it up. There we go. All protected and ready for the next time we want to craft. So I'll show you our bear that's already done. Yay! All right, and like I showed you earlier, all you have to do is put a, the little hook with the suction cup on it and then just dampen the suction cup and put it up on your window. Or if you want, you can use the little stand. And I should mention, the stand has a little bit of plastic covering on it. So you just peel the plastic covering away, just like that. And then slide the slip right into the other slit should go I think that plastic needs to be cut a little bit more there we go just so it's flat like that and then we have our bear who likes to stand up as well. You can kind of see the angle. There you go. So you can hang them or you can display them on your table. All right, and so that is our Big Gem Diamond Painting Holiday Kit. I have a surprise for you though. We are going to be doing a second kit. So I'm gonna clean up a little bit and move over our Easy Sparkle window art. Yay! So these are really festive and fun. Um, we'll just put all of our Big Gem Diamond painting away for a second here and give you a chance to go grab your Easy Sparkle window art if you'd like. Put all this over here. And this is another kit that's super easy and fun for like um, you to craft with your friends or if you want to create a couple and leave it and then come back and do some more. So there's plenty of crafting in this kit for you to do too. All right, so let's open it up and see what's inside.
Here we go. Leftover. There we go. And again, I'm going to keep my box right here on hand for inspiration if I do want to see how the samples on the box were created. Right there. Here's our fun instructions. These are all of our window paints. So we have blue, green, gold, red, white, and purple, all with sparkle inside. And window art is really fun and easy to do, but this type of window art makes it even easier. So why it's called easy sparkle window art is because you're given a sparkly frame to actually fill in with the window art. So you don't have to create that outline. You can just color in with the window paint. So I'll show you, we've got our little gingerbread kid. We have a candy cane, our mitten with a snowflake, is our fun little friend, the reindeer. A Christmas tree, a snowflake, and a winter hat. So, oh, and here we have our rhinestones and wiggly eyes in this little bag. So you have everything you need to make them not just sparkly, but sparklier. All right, I would love to hear which one we should do first. All right, I'm gonna give you a choice of three. We can do our mitten, which is very snowy and you can, once you decorate it, you can leave it up all winter long. Um, a snowflake, so mitten, snowflake, or our reindeer. Okay, so go ahead, I'll put the other ones away. While I'm doing that, go ahead and vote. There should be a little box that pops up in the middle of your screen. And you can vote. I'll move all this stuff over. And it looks like we have a, a winner. We will be doing our snowflake, yay! And again, if you don't wanna do a snowflake, you wanna do a different one, that's okay too. You can do whatever you want. Let's look at the instructions. All right, so important information about this paint. The paint included is specially formulated, non-toxic acrylic, acrylic paint that dries permanently on most surfaces, so be careful. So that means maybe we want to bring over a paper towel and craft on top of that. Um, paint may stain fabrics, furniture, and other porous surfaces, so wear old clothes and cover up your work area. We just did. Clean up any spills while paint is still wet. Save any leftover paint to touch up your designs if you need to. And um, seek adult permission before displaying your window art. Do not apply the window art to wood, fabric, painted surfaces, etc. Place them on a window. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Our painting techniques. Plan out your design before you begin. Use the larger tubes of paint for covering larger areas and the smaller paint tube for the more smaller areas. Squeeze out the paint, filling in each section of your design so no clear areas remain. Use the tip of the tube to move the paint around. All right, that's a lot of reading. Let's go ahead and just get started here. We are going to do our snowflake in snowy type of colors. I think a snowy type of a color would be blue and purple and white. So I'm gonna put the other colors over there for now. All right, so since all of these areas are pretty small, I think we can use the purple pretty much wherever we would like in our snowflake design. So it said 
to squeeze. Let's see here. Squeeze the paint out into the area. <clears throat> and then use the tip to swoosh it around. And I think what we need to do is make sure that the paint is touching the inside area of our sparkle frame or sparkly type frame. And it also said to not leave areas where there wasn't paint. So if you see an air bubble, just go ahead and pop it with the tip of your paint tube. So if it were to pop, there would be paint there. So you want to pop the bubbles. So I'm going to do all the outer areas with the purple. And then in the center, I'm going to show you a fun little technique. It's kind of cool. And it deals with mixing, or not really mixing, but kind of mixing a couple colors together. And as always, we definitely promote experimenting with your art materials. So I haven't tried it, but what if you were to take two different colors and put them in the same area and just letting it sit without like mixing them or anything? I don't know what would happen, but maybe you want, might want to try it. And if you come up with other cool techniques that you want to show us, Again, like I said in the beginning of this class, you can have someone take a picture of it and then post it up so all of our friends out there can see it on our social media page. Hashtag creativity for kids. There we go, almost done with that. Now a good way to check and see if you've covered all of the area with the tip or with the paint is to pick it up and look at the edges and see, oh, okay, like right here, up here, I can look down and I see that there's an air bubble here. So I can look down here, and I can look down here, and you just, <laughs> for this design, you can just turn your snowflake around and look at both areas, the top and the bottom. Yep, up here I have to fix that as well. And this one is a little bit more, so yeah. So you just want to make sure that there's no air bubbles and that the paint is touching all the inside parts of your frame. Alright, the next color I'm going to use is blue. So, and the different colors, some of the different colors have a little bit of a different consistency. So the purple might be a little bit more thick than the blue. The blue is a little bit more um, liquidy. And that's okay. It's just however the paint is. And um, the green might be a little bit thick, but again, it should all just come out nice and easy. And it should be easy to move around with the tip of your paint tube like this. Oop, I see an air bubble. Just like that. And spin it around. And one more. Now if you do get a little bit of paint on the sparkly frame area, you can just take the tip of a paper towel and just wipe it away, or you can just wipe it away with your finger and then wipe it off on your paper towel. 
All right, so the fun little technique that I want to show you for the center of our snowflake involves putting down a little bit of purple in the center. And the effect I'd like is for it to kind of bleed out into some white. And actually, I think I'll put a little bit of blue in the tips of each of the um, center shapes. So just a little bit of blue. And this is kind of like what you might see um, on a cupcake, like on a fancy cupcake or on a, a fancy dessert or cake. So that's where my inspiration comes from. All right, so I'll show you. Oop. I have blue and then purple in the center. So now I'm just gonna put white in between the blue and the purple. And it's okay for the white to touch both the blue and the purple. That's essentially what I'm gonna be doing. It's kind of a starburst design in the center. So now that it's mostly filled in with white, I'm gonna make sure it's all touching the inside of the shapes, just like the rest of it. And then you can use the tip of your white or the tip of your purple, and you just start from the center. I'll use the tip of the purple. You can start from the center with your tip and then just kind of swoosh it outward. And then swoosh it right out. So this creates that starburst design um, that kind of looks like icing on a cake or on a cupcake. Just like that. So I'll hold that up so you can see it a little bit better. Ooh, cool. All right, so we'll let this one sit to the side to dry. And drying times vary um, according to like the humidity in the air or where you live or, you know, there's a bunch of different things that can contribute to how long it may take your uh, window art to dry. So you want to just be able to touch it and it not be sticky. It, you want it to be like completely dry and not come off on your fingers when you test it like that. Okay, so second round of voting. Which one should we do next? We have our gingerbread kid. We have our winter hat or a candy cane. All right, let's go ahead and vote. And I'm going to look at the instructions and see if there's anything I missed. Oh, yeah, there definitely is. All right. I can't wait to show you this next thing to do with your window art. All right. It's our gingerbread kid. Thank you guys for voting. Gingerbread kid wins. Okay. So we're going to put our paper towel back down. And let's choose what we would like our gingerbread kid to look like. The colors that we have again are purple, blue, white, red, gold, and green. Okay, so I'm gonna go traditional and do gingerbread as gold because gingerbread's kind of like brown. So I'll do all of our gingerbread first. And you can kind of be pretty generous with this one because you need to fill in pretty large areas with the gold in order to fill up our ginger gingerbread kid. There we go. So I like doing that where <laughs> you can kind of just put a bunch of it in the shape and then go back 
and smear it around with your the tip of your paint tube. Be sure you get in the little um, design details around his neck, which is where his frosting would be traditionally, and around his little wrist, and that little wrist, or maybe it's a her, his or her little wrist. And then smoosh it around like that. And while I'm crafting, while I'm coloring in, I do want to mention that I'm wearing one of our Quick Knit Loom um, bracelets. Actually, bracelets, hat, and scarf. So these are all um, winter-inspired, I will say, accessories that I'm wearing today. And these are all kits that we have available and are fun to do on a wintry day. There you go. And there we go. Cool. All right, now, like we did before, we want to make sure that all of the paint is touching the inside of our shape. So I'm going to just tilt it a little bit to and turn it to make sure. Oh, I did. I missed his little hand over here. But that's why we do this. We want to make sure that it's all touching. So we'll just tilt and turn. Okay, I see on his little foot. A little gingerbread toe. And anywhere else. Oh yeah, gingerbread head. There we go. And there's some bubbles there that I'll pop. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm wiping off the tip of my paint bottle after I'm done kind of smearing it around, just so the tip of the paint bottle does not get clogged up. All right, we have some buttons here. How about if we do a red button and a green button? Here's our red. Move it around. Yeah. The bubbles. And these are also really cute little um, gift toppers, or it could be a gift in itself. If you want to put it in a box and wrap it up and gift it to one of your friends or family members, or keep them for yourself and decorate your own windows with them. All right, so now's the time. Okay, we can put that stuff away. Um, we're going to open up. Oh, I didn't check. Hold on. Did I get all of that? Yes, I did. Okay, now we're going to put a little pizzazz on our window art. So let's just pour out what we have in this little bag here. So already I found the wiggly eyes. And the wiggly eyes are important because... I want my little gingerbread kid to be able to see. So you're also given all of these really fun rhinestones, really sparkly rhinestones. I see you're given another eye. It looks like two pairs of eyes. So, or maybe just three eyes, there you go. I think our reindeer, you can put an eyeball on your reindeer if you want. All right, so while the paint is still wet, let's see, is that right? Yep. Um, actually, when the paint is dry, and I've done it both ways, and it actually does work both ways, but we do recommend to follow the instructions. So when your paint is all dry, you would go ahead and put your little wiggly eyes in or your rhinestones. But since... We're here right now with our wet little kinder kid that we, or our gingerbread kid that we just did. I'm going to go ahead and show you what it will look like putting our sparkles and our eyeballs on our little gingerbread kid. So I just made two little dots with the white 
um, just so I can guide myself as to where I'm putting the little eyeballs. And I'm not pushing them in, I'm just letting them sit on top. And I'm going to put a white or a clear rhinestone in our red button and a yellow rhinestone in our green button. There we go. And I think why we say to wait until the paint is dry is so A, you're not pushing it into the paint and then it being swallowed up by the paint so then you can't see it. Um, and also you'll get your finger all painty if you're pushing it into wet paint. Now we have, we have a little thing going on here. We have eyeballs on our gingerbread kid, but we don't have a mouth. So we need to give our gingerbread kid a mouth. So I'm gonna just use the white like it's icing and give gingerbread kid a sweet little smile. Hello, cute little ginger kid. All right, so this is what our window paint looks like right now as it's wet. But when it dries, um, the white may spread a little bit. So we do want to keep these on a flat surface to let them dry completely. And then when they're all done drying, you can just peel them off of your paper. So this is a protective sheet that they're stuck on. So you can just peel them off of your paper, off of your protective sheet, and then stick them onto a window. Or if you want to gift it, you would just keep it on the protective sheet and you can put it in a box, wrap it up, and gift it to a friend. So perfect for the holidays, perfect for gifting, and perfect for crafting. All right, so thank you so much for joining me today. That was so fun. I hope you were a little bit surprised by doing two crafts in one class. Um, so we have one more craft class together, and I hope you can join me. It's super pretty. Look at how, and again, really easy to do. So it's our beaded snowflake ornament kit. And these are definitely made for gifting because it comes with a little envelope and little sticker that after you make your little snowflakes, you can put in and then give to your friends. Yay. Okay, great. So again, this is being recorded. If you have any questions, you want to go back, you should be getting an email with that link so you can check it out again. And we would love to see what you've created. So go ahead and have... Um, an adult or older friend, take a picture and put it up on our social media, hashtag creativity for kids. Thank you and happy holidays. Bye.